Well, hey, everybody. Mark V. Dove with Gardening Gone Wild. Welcome back to the greenhouse. We are in the greenhouse, but we're doing something a little different today. Today, I wanted to share with you my favorite recipe for homemade ice cream. Now, this recipe has gone back through my father-in-law, my late father-in-law, back to his great-grandfather. And it's a family heirloom recipe for homemade ice cream. So, let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you the best way to make homemade ice cream and the very best ingredients and recipe. You're gonna love it if you follow the ingredients as I share them with you here on this video. Uh, Mark V. Dove here, by the way, in case you can't remember who I am. Hey listen, have a subscribe to my channel, do it. And if you have any comments whatsoever, make sure that you leave those down below, okay? And I'll be sure to make sure I, I'll be sure to make sure that I make sure that I make sure that I respond to you, okay? All right, so the tub, I guess you could call this a tub. This is the canister that you're gonna put all your ingredients in, okay? Got the lid for the canister, and of course I've got the, the beater, the whipper, um, the spinner, the mixer, whatever you wanna call that thing, okay? Now, here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a quart of heavy whipping cream, okay? And we're going to start out, uh, we're going to add a quart of half and half. After that, we're going to put in two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Two cans. So here's one and here's two, okay? I've got them open right now just for time constraints, but obviously you're going to need a nice can opener to open those cans because they don't have that little convenient pop top that a lot of your soups and other commodities have on their cans, okay? You're going to need some brown sugar. And then you're gonna need some red cap milk or whole milk as it's called. Because if you use like the blue cap, the 2%, the 1%, the green cap, the, the, the um, white cap, uh, it's just like white water. Uh, we don't wanna go there, that's a political thing. But you wanna use the red cap because it has the, the full amount of cream in the milk, it's whole milk, so that it doesn't wash away or water down any of your creams that you put in your, uh, your ice cream. Then you need some vanilla extract. Now, obviously this is a gallon of vanilla extract. You don't need that much, but. So we start out, let's start out right here. And I'll put this in front. We've got our half and half, okay? Uh, make sure that it's a quart and that it's half and half. Doesn't matter what brand it is. You can use any brand you want, okay? And so we're gonna pour that in there and we'll get rid of that. Then we've got our heavy whipping cream, okay? Shake it up a little bit, because heavy whipping cream, if you're in a carton like this, kind of wants to set onto the side. And then carefully just pour that in, okay? Just like that right there. If it splashes, it splashes. Hey, we're in the kitchen here at the greenhouse. Not really, kind of in the classroom, but we can say we're in the kitchen. Then what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna get a spoon, okay? Gotta have a spoon, I'll be right back. You need to have a spoon to be able to scoop out all of the sweetened condensed milk so that it, uh, you get all that out of the can so you get every little drop that you can, okay? Here's our sweet condensed milk. We're gonna scoop that inside into that canister and we wanna make sure we get it all. This is really yummy and tasty. Uh, just be careful not to lick the lid after you've uh, opened it up because you might cut your tongue, right? Okay, we're gonna get all this scooped out of here and get that down inside of there, okay? There's one can, and here's the second can. All right, you can get all this in here as well. So I'll tell you what, we've been making homemade ice cream with this recipe in the family, oh, for as long as I can remember, ever since I got married, uh, and that's been 34 years ago. My family had a pretty good recipe, and uh, it just got to a point where, hey, this had just a few more things in it that I really liked, so my wife and I and our kids we adopted it as our favorite homemade ice cream recipe, okay? 
Okay, so there's the uh, two cans of sweetened condensed milk. Now we need to do a cup of sugar, brown sugar, okay? Um, try to get the brown sugar that is the light brown sugar so you don't have really dark homemade ice cream, vanilla ice cream, okay? And I use this paper cup because it's the only thing I've got here as a measuring device to measure my brown sugar. But there's your cup, eight ounces of brown sugar, and that's what you need to put in there, okay? Let's seal this up so we don't uh, have hardened brown sugar, right? Because we'll get carried away and forget to seal that up, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to put in three tablespoons of vanilla. So watch how I measure this. One, two, three, okay? Just like that. We'll put that aside. And then I've got my whole milk. We're gonna put in up to the fill line. It's usually about a cup, a cup and a half of, of the red milk, the red cap milk, uh, up to your fill line. And it has one on most ice cream canister. Uh, oh, it's just something that I've kind of learned how to do through measurement. Now the next thing you need is a spoon. And I thought I had a, sp a bigger spoon here so that I can mix that up. Hang on, I'll get my bigger spoon here, okay? All right, here's my bigger spoon right here, okay? I want to take and mix that up because what you're going to have is a whole bunch of the, the uh, sweetened condensed milk and the brown sugar at the bottom of this canister. And you want to try to mix it up the best that you can. So while I'm mixing this, what I'm gonna go back and refresh you on, you need one quart of heavy whipping cream, one quart of half and half. You need two cans of sweetened condensed milk, okay? You need one cup of brown sugar. You need three tablespoons of vanilla extract. And then you need about a cup to a cup and a half to finish filling it up to the fill line so that you uh, add a little more material to that for your ice cream. And then you're gonna stir it, okay? Now as I stir this, I'm feeling that it's getting th thinner down there and easier to stir. I can look at the spoon and I've pretty much got a clean spoon, but I'll stir it just a little bit more just to, uh, for good practice here, okay? All right, take that and we'll just set that right there on the side. Now we're gonna take the beater or the mixer. This thing spins in there and it goes against the edge so that it helps to make your ice cream, okay? Then the lid. Now, hey, I've got a very important thing for you to remember when you have an ice cream maker, um, there's a little notch right here, okay? I'm not sure you can see that. Um, maybe I'll walk around here and I'll show it to you up close and personal, okay? This little notch right here on this canister lid. It's very important that you get that on a notch, that you can see this notch right here. Inside, there's a, a, a this is an indent, and then your out part over here, you need to make sure you get that, that little guy right there, right next to it. Otherwise, your canister is going to um, spin and spin and spin, and it's not gonna uh, freeze the way it's supposed to, and it will take forever. Okay, now here's my tub that I'm actually gonna put this in. I'll put this in right here on your canister. There's a little round nub on there that you wanna fit down inside of the hole of the tub. Right in there, there's a white piece that you fit that little round nub on so that it's straight and even, okay? Then I'm gonna get the uh, motor. We'll take the motor and we'll put it on there and we'll batten it down. And then we'll get some ice, okay? Gotta have ice. After all, you're making ice cream, right? Okay, gotta have the ice. And then we're gonna have some rock salt. Now the rock salt is rock salt, as it mentions. You can't get table salt, that won't work. You can't use sea salt, that won't work. Uh, when you go to the store, just make sure that you get salt that says rock salt for ice cream, okay? Rock salt for ice cream. Now, I have got my plug in. We're gonna take and plug this in right here to my extension cord. And then we'll uh, turn this baby on. So, I like to turn it on to get it started before I start dumping my ice in there, okay? 
And what I like to do with my eyes is I'm going to put in about this much ice right here, and then I'll dump some salt, rock salt on it. And then I'll put a little more ice, dump a little more rock salt, and then fill it up right into the top of the canister on the inside of the tub with ice, and then I'm going to dump some more rock salt on it, okay? So if you notice the rock salt, it says rock salt, ice cream salt, okay? That's what you want to get. If you get smaller table salt, it's not going to work. And then we'll carefully dump ice in there, spin that around, and then we'll go ahead and dump a little rock salt on that, okay? The rock salt helps to create the friction and the freezing process for the ice cream. It mixes with the ice and then causes that really cold environment for that milk and cream and all the yummy things to start to freeze so that then you have your ice cream. I probably typically put in about a tablespoon or two of rock salt on each layer on each side of the maker. Okay, we're gonna get this all the way up to the top here and spin that around. I mean, if the ice spills, usually I make this outside, but since we're inside filming it, um, it's nice to uh, just do it all right here. And then you pour on another, I don't know if you can see the rock salt coming out of there, but nice little dab will do you, okay? Now, what you want to do is just let that sit um, I'm going to, um, I'll keep track of it. It takes probably about 45 minutes to an hour for this ice cream to make. But the nice thing about it is, is that you've got the most delicious tasting treat. Let's get over here and I'll show you what's going on here inside, okay? So again, you have your motor, right here is your motor. You have your on and off switch and your plug, your wire, and then down in here, you're actually doing your ice inside of that. See, here's the top of the lid. Maybe you can kind of look down inside the lid there and see this, the beater is just kind of standing still, but the whole canister is actually going around in circles, and that's what helps to create the friction against the ice and the rock salt, okay? You see that down there? Beautiful. So right now, we're at 11.30. Another 45 minutes to an hour. I'll come back and uh, I'll show you this awesome treat and I'll even open it up. We'll show you the texture of the ice cream and what it looks like and then we'll have a taste. Sorry you can't be here to, to taste it with us. One thing I forgot to mention to you is that every so often you need to grab some ice and top it off because if you let the ice get lower than the canister, uh, it's not going to do the freezing, proper freezing that you need. Uh, for the higher uh, ingredients in the canister inside the ice cream maker, okay? And then you're going to take and dump a little bit more salt on top of that, a little more rock salt, okay? And you're going to uh, let that continue to freeze. So right now it's 12 o'clock. We started this at 11.30. We've got probably another 30 minutes to go, and then we'll see how it goes from there, okay? So, Stay tuned. I'm Mark the Dove with Gardening Gone Wild in the greenhouse making homemade ice cream. Oh, I can't wait. It is so yummy. All right, welcome back, guys. Hey, listen, this is the moment of truth on this homemade ice cream. I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Um, one thing to remember again is to make sure the ice is topped off every so often with a little bit extra salt so that it's right up to the canister inside the bucket, okay? Another thing to remember is, is listen for the motor to stop as the ice cream gets thicker and thicker in, that canist in the uh, canister, it's gonna slow the motor down. And if you're not careful, then that motor could burn up and then you ruin your ice cream maker. Uh, personal experience here, okay? So just remember, think about your, your uh, what you need to do with the extra ice throughout the process, and then make sure you're watching your ice cream maker so it doesn't burn up your motor when it stops, okay? All right, so let's take this off. So here's the little clasp here I gotta take off on this side, this little guy right here, okay? And we're gonna carefully take this off and pull the motor off. This is the motor with the, extent, with the cord on it right here, okay? We'll set that aside. 
And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in and I'm going to show you the actual ice cream in the bucket. Okay, here we go. You ready for this? Okay, here we go. Let's pull this off. We'll get you all focused in on there because we definitely want you to have the experience of this right here. Pull the lid off, okay? And then you're looking down inside there and there is the homemade ice cream. You see that down in there? Oh, baby, baby. I think you can see it. Now, have you ever had homemade ice cream before? There's not a lot more that tops it off than having fresh homemade ice cream. Now, some people like to take it out of the canister, put it in the freezer and freeze it and save it for a later date. But hey, when you eat this homemade ice cream fresh, oh my, you're gonna think you died and gone to ice cream heaven. There's my spoon going down in there. I'm gonna scoop that big old scoop of homemade ice cream out. Where are we at here? I'm gonna scoop that scoop of ice cream out, follow it down to the bowl. We're gonna dump it in there. Now just because I like homemade ice cream, I'm gonna get one more scoop, okay? There we go, ready for this? We're gonna take that, we're gonna lower it down, and I've got me the most delectable, delicious tasting ice cream. Okay, now, one thing to do when you're done serving it. If you have any left and you wanna save some for later, don't put it in the freezer. Take your nice towel, like that right there, and just kind of pack that down in the ice, like this right here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna hold that cold in so that um, it doesn't escape. And if you feel like you need one more towel to put over that, then go ahead and just put another towel over that, okay? And that will help you um, hang on to the ice cream, make it stay uh, frozen more. Now it's not gonna be frozen frozen like you get at the store or you put it in your freezer, but it's gonna be, it's gonna stay uh, consistently thick, okay? Another thing I did was I actually put a towel under the ice cream maker so that any water that leaks through the cracks of the ice cream maker, uh, which they do have some unless you get a plastic one, I like the wooden ones, um, they'll expand and contract with the, with the cold and with the moisture and that will help to keep any salt water because remember, you're putting salt down inside with your ice to help the friction make your ice cream. Hey, Mark V. Dub here, Gardening Gone Wild. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I love ice cream. I have about eight or 10 bowls every day. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes my wife thinks I do. But uh, nonetheless, I love ice cream, whether it's at Baskin Robbins, whether it's homemade ice cream, whether it's at the store, local store that has awesome soft serve ice cream or just going to the store and get me some of my favorite chocolate ice cream. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. I will put the recipe down uh, uh, below uh, so that you can have it. Use it all you want, share it with your family, friends, uh, whatever you want to do. But uh, anyway, that's what we've done here now. All right, you guys. Oh man, this stuff, I can't hardly wait. That's good, that's really good. Fresh homemade ice cream. Mm. You won't taste it any better than this, guys. Guaranteed. Mm. Wow, that's so tasty. That's really good. How about two thumbs up? Very tasty. Hope you've enjoyed watching me make my great grandfather-in-law's homemade recipe for ice cream. Go ahead and make it at home. Enjoy it. Mm. Share it with your family. Maybe a family reunion. 
maybe with your uh, church group, your football team. Don't eat it by yourself. Okay? Remember, in the next video, we're going to make homemade salsa. You're going to want to watch that. Thank you, everybody, for watching my videos. Thanks for your support, your comments. Share what you've seen. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. It's just a simple click of the button. And we can continue to have a good time. I'm Mark B. Dove with Gardening Gone Wild. Have a great day. I am going to have a very summer summer ice cream.